It's January 5th, 2024. Bike across Australia, even though it says 2023. All right, day 34. I was in Daly Waters. Uh, it was 150 miles uh, to or near Springs. You can see that it uh, rained uh, yesterday. Uh, there's a little bit of road work here. Anytime the road turns, you're pretty much guaranteed to see a car that has been crashed uh, rusting away in the outback. Uh, but I only had 44 kilometers or so to the first stop. But when I pulled up, the place looked empty. There was nothing there. Uh, but I did find someone and uh, asked them to cook me a hot dog for breakfast. But the shelves were empty. Uh, but thankfully they had some Powerade and bottled water. Otherwise I would have been in trouble uh, for these next 60 miles uh, because it was warm today. Uh, just south of that uh, roadhouses of Dunmara is back in 1872. I'm about to show you where they finished the connecting the last segment of the telegraph that ran from the bottom of Australia, Adelaide, uh, to the top of Australia, Darwin, and then it would uh, run a cable to England. So 1872, they were finally able to communicate with England. And this is about four kilometers off the road. And here's the sign telling you about uh, and there I am standing next to what is known as the joining, the final joint. Uh, when they put it together, they actually, uh, they got a 12 volt shock. <laughs> so he, he had to use his handkerchief. But I actually learned that they, the guys were, uh, they had a pretty rough uh, and ran out of food. I'll tell you a little bit about the next day. I didn't really do a great job. I'm not sure how well this video journal is working out. Um, me trying to speak, which I don't enjoy doing, and then uh, <laughs> following the photos as well, trying to get all the words in before it moves on to the next frame. But if you have any su suggestions, I'm certainly uh, willing to listen. So. Uh, I thought it would be a short day, just under 100 miles. I would stop in the town of Elliot for the night. So. Uh, seeing some friendly cows along the way in a watering hole. And here I am pulling into Elliot again. It looks like there's nothing here. And uh, Elliot's uh, not much going on. And I would soon find out uh, that there's no place to sleep inside in Elliot. The motel is closed. There is a caravan park. Uh, it was already after 2 o'clock. So I decided uh, to take a break. And then around 3 o'clock I had to do another... Uh, 50 to 60 miles if I wanted to sleep inside tonight. But the Elliott store, uh, it wasn't a real roadhouse. It was more like a traditional petrol station, gas station. But they did have uh, only one milk. So I was able to take that. And they had a large enough selection of drinks. Uh, but moving in, going into Elliott, I was thirsty. Because at Dunmore, the first place I stopped, I didn't quite get enough drinks as I thought it would be a uh, traditional roadhouse. Uh, last night when I was talking to the girl who, from South Australia, who had lived in Daly Waters for over four years, I thought she uh, she knew Dunmar well and she told me she acted like it was a normal roadhouse rather than a, uh, it could be closed tomorrow type roadhouse with limited selection. So. But leaving uh, with 50 plus miles after three and it getting dark just after seven, it was gonna be tough for me to make it. 
in time. Um, a few girls would stop heading northward. You can see the roads are pretty empty. <laughs> and they would stop and just make sure I was okay. Uh, here I am pulling into Rainier Springs Roadhouse. So I would pay, uh, they wanted $130 for the room. So I would pull out the big bucks for that one. But I should be about 100 miles away um, from the turnoff to head to the east coast of Australia. But I've been thinking about heading down to Alice Springs. I seem to be getting close and I've always wanted to go to Alice Springs. So I thought this might be a chance, but I'll have to think about it. Uh, here's the room coming up. It takes a while for the lights to kick on. There we go. And here's the uh, Rainier Springs Roadhouse. Oh, there's the room. Okay. And dinner, I went with just uh, potato chips. I actually didn't eat anything uh, for dinner. I just drank the head um, chocolate milk and regular milk. I would eat the potato chips late at night and use the sandwich on the ride tomorrow in case I needed it. So, but I'd been thinking of doing Australian word of the day. So I purchased a Fanta. So the word of the day today is tinny or tinnies plural, I guess. And that's an aluminum can, obviously. So to use in a sentence, you could say Let's crack open a few tinnies. It's, uh, it's a great one. <laughs> but a tinny can also refer to an aluminum boat as well. So you can use that. Uh, in